I will be showing you how to make this Koibori or Japanese flying carp out of toilet paper um, roll. So I've already shown you the materials that you will be needing. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I've cut these tissue papers and I'm just going to show you really quickly how I did it using the streamer. So I folded it a few times just to make my life a little easier as opposed to cutting one out one by one. So I kind of just eyeball it, make a half a circle. And I cut it on the fold. And then I have a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and start it glue, uh, gluing it. Here's our toilet paper roll. It's actually a really simple project that you can do. And it's a really cute one as well. So you can just start gluing them as you go. Put some glue. And you can make it any pattern that you want. And you keep doing that till you get to the other side of the toilet paper. Alright, so it's all dried up. I'm gonna go ahead and add the glue to these sides. This is how it looks so far. Now I'm going to add the streamer part on the bottom of the carp. So I'm going to show you how to cut that out. Um, so you'll take the color that you'd like. Go ahead and just cut it to the, the desired length you may want the streamer to be kind of long so it just depends on you and then you're just going to make little lines like this and you'll do that with all these streamers um, until you feel the bottom of the of the little fish So now I'm going to go ahead and attach the string. It's going to also be your desired length. If you have a if you have a dowel that you can use, you can use a dowel. Or if you don't have that, you can use a popsicle stick to attach your Japanese flying carp. You can use glue or you can use tape. I'm going to use tape to glue the string down. Okay, there you have it, a Japanese flying carp. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it looks. String up on the dowel. On the dowel. Okay. 